Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, how to display a output of more than 128 characters in ALV for a particular column. And as a part of that, we created a screen, we designed the layout on that particular screen. And now after that, we are writing the logic into the PBO of that screen. Now we created the object of the container and we pass the name of the container. Now inside this container, we will display the text. So now we will create a object of this particular class, text class. So I will write create object hello underscore text and whenever I will check the syntax I will get a error because it is clearly understandable for this particular text edit what is the container container is what is the parent parent is the container inside the container we are displaying the text so whenever I am creating a object SAP is giving the error that you have not passed the value to the mandatory parameter parent and you can check. Suppose if I will double click on to this CLGUI text edit class, if I will go for the constructor method into this particular class, I will find next, I will find next. And you can see in this method, constructor method, we have the mandatory parameter parent. All other are optional, but only only one parent, one mandatory parameter that is parent. So I will pass. All parameters in the constructor method are importing. It means here it will act as exporting. Parent is equal to what is the object of your container class hello underscore c-o-n-t when we cover the alb by c-l-g-u-i alb grid class we did same to same thing we created a object of the container and yes after that we created the object of alb grid and the container act as a parent now container is acting as a parent for text also I will check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. Now I will show you the output up to this level. Then we will proceed further. Whenever I will run this program, I am giving the input. Whenever I will click here, you all know user command subroutine will call in the user command. You are calling the screen 100. Yes, you and in the screen 100 PBO, we have written the logic. So if I will click on to this, you can see we got the screen employee ID. We will pass the anyways, no values as of now. And in this, we will display the text. Now our next target is how we will display the employee ID and how we will display the text. So firstly, we will understand in that debugging mode and then we will write the logic for the same. As of now, these functions will not work. You all know we created our own screen. So these functions will not work, yes. So as of now, I will simply go to debugging mode. In one session, we will learn the debugging and in another session, we will write the logic. I will put a breakpoint in the user command. I will run this program. I am giving suppose employee ID 125. Now, suppose I am clicking on to second record. Whenever I will click on to the second record. Now the user command subroutine called. 
have you seen we have a we have using parameter given by SAP. If I will double click on to this RS underscore cell field, we got the tab index two. It means you clicked on to the second record. You simply, simply clicked on to the second record. Yes. Now, if I will go for another. Suppose if I will go for another record. As of now, those buttons are not working. So I'm running again. Suppose I'm clicking on to fourth record. User command subroutine will call. And now if I will go for RS underscore cell field. In this tab index, we got the index four. We got the index four. It means if I will show you our internal table, this is our internal table in which we have the data, in which we have the whole data, in which we have the whole data. We have the index in which particular parameter you have the index RS cell field, which particular component or column tab index you have the index. If we will simply, simply read this internal table. Suppose we clicked on to fourth record. So if I will read this internal table on fourth number index, so I will get employee ID. I will get the feedback. Suppose we are clicking on to second record. So in that tab index, we have the index two. So I will read this internal table on index two. So I will get this employee ID and this employee feedback, which I will simply, simply pass into the screen. Simple understanding. And yes, I can go for read table. There is no need for the loop because at a time you are only clicking on to how many record? One record. We are always, always clicking on to one record. And you all know whenever you have exactly one matching record, you can simply go for read table. Now I will keep this session as it is. And in another session, I will write the logic. I will go to the program and debugging is always the best way. At least mistakes will be less. You can see in debugging, you can write the logic pattern. Now I will write the logic here before calling the screen. Because once the screen will call, then there is no need for the logic after that. I will simply write read tape. Check in the debugging mode. What is the name of your internal table? LT underscore data. Into. What is the name of work area? LWA underscore data. We are reading this internal table. What is the index? Just see RS underscore cell field hyphen. Which particular column you are getting the index? Tab index. So we are reading this internal table on that particular index. If size sub RC equal to zero, you all know after every read table, you need to check for size sub RC. If size sub RC equal to zero, we will call the screen 100. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate up to this level. Now in this work area, in this work area, we have the employee ID also. We have the employee feedback also. If in this work area, you have the employee ID and employee feedback, can you bind with your screen? Yes, we can bind with our screen. If I will go to the layout of the screen, but the name we gave to the employee ID, LV underscore EMP ID, if you remember. We gave LV underscore EMP ID. This is what we give LV underscore EMP ID. And yes, inside this container, we will display the text at it. 
Now, in this particular container, we will display the feedback in the form of text packet. So I will go to the screen. Now, we will write the logic in PBO, not in PAI, because we are not going for any action. Whenever screen will come, we want the data to be there. So I will simply, simply write the logic in PBO. Now I will write, what is your employee ID? What is your variable on the screen? LV underscore EMP ID. What is the name of work area? LWA data EMP ID. You all know your data, your employee ID is in work area. So you simply bind it with the screen field. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we understood in the debugging mode that whenever you are clicking onto that hotspot, in this RS cell field tab index, we are getting the index of that particular row and we read our data internal table onto that particular index. Now in this work area, we are getting the employee ID and employee feedback. So as of now, what we did, I have written the logic in PBO to move the employee ID from the work area to the screen field. Now in the next video, how, how I will bind the feedback with this text edit, we will work on to that particular part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.